Hey YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to another video in the series where I try to start my own tech company. I'm building a productivity app that's also a game, and if that sounds like something that's interesting to you, go ahead and click the link in my description to sign up for the mailing list, and I can send you an email when the app that I'm working on is ready for beta testing. And in this video, I'm gonna go over the progress that I've made over the past month or so. All right, so this is what my game currently looks like, and if you've been following along with the other videos, you'll notice that this looks pretty different, and that's because I switched out all of the art that I was using to make the levels. Previously, I was using some placeholder art to just play around, but I've done a good amount of research over the past month and I've committed to this art direction because it comes out of a, a pack of art on itch.io that I can use to build several different types of levels and the art style is all cohesive and goes together. I don't think that this is the final end-all style for the game that I'm building, but I recognize that as a an independent creator, I cannot do art and sound and programming. I have to focus on my strength, which right now is just programming. So I'm using art off the shelf, so to speak, and using some um, assets from art packs that I found. And I think that that's going to allow me to build quicker and generate more content for anyone watching. But even after I decided on what art pack to use, getting it set up in Godot wasn't the easiest process and it took me a while to figure out. So you can see here in my editor, I've got two different tile maps. And that's because the ground layer that my character is walking on right now, this dirt path, has to be on a separate tile set than the grass layer that lays on top of it. And that's because I just couldn't figure out how to get it to perfectly work together. Ideally, it's one tile map, but right now two is fine. So the top tile map is the grass, and underneath is just a large dirt path, and we create the path by drawing grass on a separate layer above it. In order to get auto tiling set up somewhat working for both the ground layer and the grass, I created a tile map, and then over here in Godot, I can click on tile set to bring up my tile set editor. Then I can click on which tile set I want to use. So right now I'll click on grass two, and then you can click on this grass tile set and there are a couple different options that come up here at the bottom so here on bit mask this is the bit mask map that i sort of engineered in order to be able to paint tiles in the way that i was expecting to be able to and i know that that's a little confusing but Traditionally, Godot version 3.5 requires you to have a certain format to get auto tiling set up correctly. And the art pack that I purchased does not have that uh, layout for auto tiling. So rather than create that layout of tiles for every single tile set in here, I just created a bit mask that mostly works for what I need it to do at the moment. But getting this set up was a good amount of work and something I would not like to do again. <laughs> the other major thing that I've been working on over the past month is a CI-CD workflow for the game that I'm building in Godot. I already have a CI-CD workflow for the website that I'm building that's going to house the game that I'm working on, but I wanted to make sure that the continuous development uh, environment was set up for the game as well, so that once I release some beta version to people, I am able to quickly take feedback, iterate, and push out new versions of the game without having to go through a large manual process to do so. I wish I had done a better job documenting what I was working on over the past month while I was doing it, so I could make a more entertaining video to update anyone following along. But unfortunately, my personal life and nine to five job has kept me pretty busy, and that's the reality of indie game dev. But my hope is that now that I've got a art pack that I can use to build levels and a good CI CD process to iterate quickly and produce levels and get feedback, I'm hoping to have more of the game built out pretty soon here over the next couple months. And 
Hopefully soon there will be a beta version so anyone following along on this YouTube channel or in my personal life can see what I'm working on and give me feedback and we can start to build in public a little bit more aggressively and build some momentum. So if you've been following along with these videos, thank you so much for your interest in the project. I've recently passed a thousand subscribers on YouTube, which isn't a huge number, but it was an important milestone for me in this journey. I hope to have something that I can share soon that people can start beta testing and giving feedback on. So keep your eyes out for that sometime in the next few months. Thank you again, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.